This is Rudolf of Germany speaking. Chapter 19 of the Big Revelation. In the last video, I spoke a bit about the life on my home planet. I like to add on to this a little bit more. What I didn't mention in the last video is that the plants, these mushroom-like plants on our planet, which we become served by our working class, have psychedelic properties to it. The big sleepers, we, the priest class, are basically the ones who create different dimensions by using the constant mushroom consumption. You have to understand one thing. The world is made of a substance. The whole universe is made of a substance which is nothing but mind itself. Without mind, no universe. Without universe, no mind. Both is one and the same. If you lose your ability to think, if you, use, you lose your ability to take in information, the world for you will collapse. The same principles and laws apply to the big sleepers who are the central brain of this universe. This has to be understood. Thus, that makes it clear that if anybody who has no proper right, who has no proper teaching how to use these powers becomes a very large dangerous to the equilibrium of these universal laws. We have sent out the sleepers, our class of priests, many of us to different planets. And when it comes to planet Earth, the one I'm speaking today of, we have sent also many of us, creatures like myself, to you. Some of them have been there a long time, got used to the circumstances and took women, created offspring, which are half-breeds, half-men, half-God, and as such, have the capabilities through special training, not like me or others who are basically full-blooded, tall white aliens, but our half-breeds have the ability to special training after physical death to be reunited with our priest class with our sleepers on our home planet. In the Christian and Muslim and Jewish scriptures, scriptures, you will find some information about it in the form of God takes back his children after they die and they go to heaven. This is really not so wrong. It's just not one God or many gods, as I explained to you before in the last video. We have only the number one. We don't have any kind of uh, mathematical um, use. So when we talk about God, it means many or one at the same time. If somebody who has forefathers from our planet, from the tall white race, and is mixed with an earthly woman, he can, if he has a proper conduct and training on earth, 
and he is a um, strong meditator, he has the chance after death to come back to our planet. That is basically also in your books, somebody who is a holy man can, or somebody who conducts himself well on earth comes to heaven. The others not, they go to hell. Hell we don't have, uh, of course, this is an invention of the priest uh, cast on earth. Uh, heaven, uh, hell, sorry, is nothing but uh, uh, an invention which don't make any sense. If somebody who is of pure human blood uh, loses his body by death, he will just disappear into nothing. Besides body and mind, there is nothing and there will be nothing happening. So this is uh, the explanation for heaven and hell. And now we come to a point, there are some of us who come to earth and have a certain task to fulfill. And after they have spent some time here, they are not willing to follow the orders anymore and have their own ideas. These are, you can look into the Bible, called fallen angels or Luciferian creatures who try to educate their own have breathe offspring, have men, have tall white, uh, teach them the secrets of our society, of our planet, which is strictly forbidden. If a half breed human and tall white wants to come to us, he has to go to the proper medi uh, meditational means and not through secrets he gets from his father, for example. That's why uh, also in the old language it's Lucifer, the light bearer. He is trying to bring education to the human race, light to the human race, wants to tell the secrets which are detrimental for us if, if spoken of. And these, so to speak, Luciferians have no right to return to our planet anymore which they try relentlessly since thousands of years and have not reached it yet. This is also the reason we cannot reveal to the public, for example, where our planet is and not the humans here on Earth are not so dangerous to us, but other creatures, because the class of uh, sleepers, big sleepers, our priest class, is completely defenseless in its creation of mental powers. We have no weapons on our planet and so on. This is just a little introduction uh, into uh, heaven and hell, who really the gods are. Yes, there were UFOs on earth, but we didn't come, I told you. But the simple people hundreds of years ago saw them and they called us gods and we gave them the books about this religion book, religious books and the um, aristocratic class on earth, this were basically the more intelligent humans, have intermingled, mixed with us and um, their most brilliant minds, philosophical minds, have been allowed after death to enter our world. So they went, so to speak, to heaven. And the rest were just uh, not allowed and they were cast away. There is many, there is much more to be said about this and I can go into much more detail in the next uh, video. But for the moment, uh, just think about it. There is a lot of truth in your books. They are just slightly different and uh, um, if you uh, have the time, then you can read your religious books and listen to what I have to say and you will see a lot of para um, parallels and uh, it will clear your mind. And it gives you also, in the next videos, I will give you uh, accept, uh, exact information how to do things correct and proper to line up with us and have a chance for an afterlife. Until then, I wish you a good day, your friend Rudolf of Germany.